the color of that is like really cool. I don't know that I necessarily like that as much. The, the cutout? The cutout enables you to play but further down on the fret. I need to get up that half. Ask one of the we've got people that work here. This is just beautiful. Just like between beauty. these two, like the which one everything. Which one they like would like more and I'll tell why. You which, I'll tell you which one they'd like better. They'd like me to buy the $800 one because it's more money for them. But it really, I mean, it's well, nice. Just, it's nice. Sometimes people like it when you just ask their honest opinion. Mm, yeah. What's this one right here? It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Friday, April 1st. I said I was a dinosaur in my last video. Today, this video, I'm going to say I am a cat. Meow? <laughs> April Fools. I'm so bad at pranks. Are you guys good at pranks? Not me. All right, so I told you about the Duggars and what they've been misleading people about and all of that stuff from the Distractify article. And then I noticed that Jessa Seawald recently uploaded a vlog on her YouTube channel and I was like, whoa, girl, whoa, girl, whoa. Some things are getting out of hand here. We need to talk because Jessa is not only wearing ripped jeans, she's playing music that's not biblical hymns and she spent eight hundred dollars on a guitar is that our motto is we buy used and we save the difference and so we are being very resourceful for the things that most people would discard we go to the thrift stores and we reuse them boy we get lots of use out of them and that is not buying used and saving the difference one of the things growing up that the Duggars really truly believed in was that modesty was necessary for all women because women could defraud men and that by defrauding men that means essentially that uh, anything that you wear can cause a man to have thoughts that might be impure and cause them to stumble, as Michelle Duggar would say. And modesty included wearing dresses, not showing your knees, uh, not showing your shoulders, not wearing pants, uh, not having anything on your body that would be an eye trap, like my necklace is an eye trap, if you can see that, going towards an area that, you know, the eyes will wander. So when you have a lot of pressure on yourself as a woman in this group, in this alleged cult, I will say that women, uh, they bear the responsibility of the inability of a man to manage their own thoughts and feelings and their actions, which is highly disturbing in my opinion. So Jessa has been kind of mellow lately. Uh, there's been some questions about, you know, how entangled she is with the Duggars at this point. And Ben has taken a position outside of the Duggars like scope of influence. He is a pastor at a church uh, as a Baptist pastor. He's still very conservative. He's just part of the reformed Baptist movement, which is different than what the Duggars believe, which is they are uh, the salvation is free to anyone that wants it. And Ben's are, Ben's a little bit different in what he believes. So anyways, don't want to get into the theology of it all. So Ben recently has been working as a pastor and they are currently rehabbing a parsonage that is on the church property where they intend to live. They have not moved into this parsonage yet. Many of you have uh, reminded me that due to the pandemic, there's supply chain issues with construction, which is making things take longer than necessary. So one of the other things that the Duggars really, really push is a weekly date night for families, uh, for parents, so that they can connect and um, make sure that they strengthen their marriage. I have absolutely nothing about people connecting on their marriages. I've always just thought it's very, very, uh, it's a lot of pressure to put on any couple with that many kids to claim that they have to have a weekly date night. On her date night, they decided they were gonna go look at a guitar and Jessa decided that she wanted to get back into playing the guitar. If you know anything about the Duggars, they taught their kids how to play the violin. Uh, they had harps, pianos, all kinds of music. They really were on the whole train of, you know, the family band, the whole family band aspect that's a huge part of these fundamentalist groups. And they played their violins and music and they would go to different churches while they were in their heyday on 19 Kids and Counting. 
So Jessa played the violin and she also said that she had self-taught herself on the guitar. She admits that she's never had formal lessons for the guitar. So I have really wanted to start playing guitar again. I played from the time I was like 15 to like 19, quite a bit, like, like several times a week, I just pull it out and play. And so I never had lessons or anything like that. I would just ask friends for tips and things like that. So it was more kind of a hobby or something fun that I like to do on the side. She yeah, admits that she's never had formal lessons for the guitar and she's learned how to play just by getting tips from other people, but she clearly can play. But so she and Ben, I think it looks like they went to guitar center, which I was like, whoa, they're at a guitar center. She's wearing ripped jeans. You guys, jeans that have holes in both legs. I mean, I have ripped jeans, but I didn't grow up in the modesty cult culture. And I'm also showing you my eye traps. So she has ripped jeans on that are tight and she's playing a guitar. Beautiful. What do you think, Fern? <sighs> Play something my cousin taught me. Somewhere Bill Gothard is like losing his mind. Seriously. Now she goes to play several hymns while she's actually playing the guitar, but she did play some non hymns due to copyright on this, you know, channel. I'm not going to play a lot of the music simply because I don't want to get flagged for copyright infringement of somebody's music. Anyways, um, she and Ben were talking about like what kind of uh, guitar it actually was. And Ben said something that actually made me think that maybe they're starting to seek for clarifying information outside of just like someone telling them something. She said that the Bates told her that one brand was better than the other. And uh, because of that, that's the ones she should be looking at. But Ben made his comment and he said he wanted facts. I, don't know. I do like the way this one plays. But the other one, this one, I don't know. Should we call, call up some of the Bates real quick? Yeah, she just say, call them up real what, quick. What did you mean by that? What, what, tell me, give me the facts. Don't just, yeah. I don't want I, I don't want to hear just this vague, you know, Martins are better. Tell me why. <laughs> Tell exactly. me why. Be specific. So You're Jessa right. and Ben want, Ben wants facts about guitars. He doesn't want just someone's opinion. He, he wants facts. He doesn't want just speculation. He doesn't want like uh, hearsay. He doesn't want just, you know, an opinion. He wants real factual evidence about why something is better. This is like critical thinking. Critical thinking is actually asking for factual evidence to support your claim which is something that the Duggars were taught not to do as children. So when you're a child in the Duggars household, you are not taught to think critically. You're told to obey, to not ask questions. Questions are not appreciated by the leadership of the church. And you're supposed to just go along with the authority that you're under, which was your father and also the church. So asking questions and seeking factual information, it's not a natural tendency when you grow up in a cult like this. So I did like that they want facts. I mean, they're making sort of a joke about it, but at the end of the day, I fully support um, anyone starting to critically think about the choices in which they make and looking for evidence to support why they make their decisions. That's not something that happens a lot in the Duggars house. Go Jessa. On top of that, uh, she spent $800 on this guitar. I was shocked. Okay, I'm, I don't care about normal people spending money. I was, I was, I cannot. I don't care. If you have the money to spend and you want to gift yourself something like a guitar or you want an instrument of some sort or if you want to just splurge, I don't care if that's who you are. What shocks me is that Jessa is so frugal. If you follow Jessa, you know that she goes to consignment shops and shops at thrift stores for her kids, buys used shoes for her kids, buys used clothing for her kids, which again, not uncommon, not abnormal. Uh, but then she spent $800 on this guitar. Now, I don't know the running price for actual guitars out there, but some of the guitars, in fairness, these were acoustics, were over $4,000. My husband is a guitar player and he also builds guitars. So I do have quite a few in my home. We have multiple acoustics and we also have like a lot of electric guitars in my house. Did you know that my husband builds guitars? I've probably never told you that. He does. Now, Ben actually called, he did make something like where I was like, whoa, I know something that you don't know. Uh, she said something about the shape 
of the guitar and he didn't call it the body. So the body is actually the shape. So Jessa didn't like the shape of one of the guitars and uh, it's actually, she didn't like the way that the body was designed. I've learned a lot about guitars. My husband has an entire shop in the garage that builds guitars. He, I think he's built like six. So yeah, we have a lot of guitars in my house. My husband is also like Jessa and he is self-taught on the guitar. He's never had formal training. He can pick up a song and just play it. He is so talented. So uh, anyways, I, I'm just getting off the, the rails about guitars. Maybe you didn't know that about me. Um, but I also know that guitars can be extremely expensive. I also know that it's pretty common when you are an avid guitar player to seek out deals and to potentially find used guitars uh, because there's some people that will buy guitars and then they just don't want a new one or they just don't like it or you know guitars are very expensive like some can be tens of thousands of dollars anyways um ben did make a point that some people have preferences when it comes to brands and that's very true there are some brands that musicians and guitarists just like better than others so a lot of it will come down to preference. And she did pick the uh, brand that was recommended by the Bates and she liked the way that it sounded the best. And I honestly felt like it was the one that sounded the best of the ones that she tried out. So for someone who is grew up by used save the difference, she splurged on a guitar, which, hey, if you've got the money, spend it. And she should be able to spend the money that she works hard to make. This is probably a this is likely a first for her because when she was on Counting On, she wasn't able to control her money and she wasn't getting paid as much. Now that she has control of her YouTube channel and her social media, it's likely that she's making more money than she was when she was on Counting On. So I'm all for Jessa enjoying a splurge. I just remember how much they freaked out about uh, when Ginger bought a $300 blazer and now she bought an $800 guitar. They are so different than their parents. I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. What are your thoughts about all of this? Tell me in the comments below. Bye, guys.